That name, that name that I have, is um, it's a continuing evolution for me. It wasn't my given name at birth, but it was a name that that was given to me by other means. And we consider what we do is is actually not even a performance, really. It's medicine. It's about listening. For me, it's not about knowing, but it's about allowing. Close your eyes. That's what I do when I do my music. I just close my eyes and, and do my best to just get out of the way. I was never musical. It wasn't until I had gone to the Amazon jungle to work with some indigenous peoples over there. And when I came back, uh, something had shifted in me. I felt like something cracked open in me. And that's when I, I picked up this instrument. It's been a teacher for me. They call it the land of enchantment because a lot of times people that come here then they end up just staying here. Either it embraces you or it spits you out. There's a number of people that come here for, even though they might not be aware of it, you know, when they get here, the reason they come here is for their own personal healing. There's a lot of indigenous history here in this land. And then of course the beauty and you know, the sky is, is, there's nothing else like it. And that's why I think a lot of artists come here too, because they like to paint, you know, and capture. As I've continued to evolve and grow, I feel like the way I play this now, it's, it's stretching. I, I stretch out the notes a lot longer, much further, and, and have, create more space. For me, it's like I'm actually communicating with something, or I'm calling something in. It's like a conversation that I'm having with, you know, the energy or, or another being of, of sorts. As long as we are able to, then this is what we're being called to do. Mm -hmm.